Hello, and welcome to my crib. <laughs> come in, come in. Hi, everybody. Welcome to our new house. Um, ugh, let me read it up. Welcome to our new home. We moved to a Cape Cod style cottage out here in the suburbs. It's beautiful. Right when you walk in the front door is this shoe cabinet, which oh, I'm obsessed with. I think yeah. it's very convenient. And then on top of here, we have some flowers, a tray for our keys, a tray for our wallet and some candy corn. Moving this way, you'll see that we've covered the radiators in our house because they get hot. Bruh. Real hot. And over here we have a bookshelf. Um, not much to see, all my romance books are on the top shelf, as you can see. And yeah, moving on. This is our, can you back up a little? This is our mantle with our working fireplace. We've only used it once so far, um, but it was amazing. And on top of the mantle, we have some poppers grass, a vanilla pumpkin candle, some fake candles, and these beautiful dried flowers my best friend got me. And then we have this art print from Lone Fox Home. I forget what it's called, but it's beautiful. This. Hi. You want me to hold you? This living room is so, so special to us because I've been wanting this couch for years and my mom got it for us as a gift. The best gift ever given, this couch. It's super comfortable, so spacious. I'm probably gonna keep it forever. And then this blanket is from Target. Best blanket ever. Moving on, we've got this fake tree also from Target, and this rocking chair that we've had since Judy was a newborn. <laughs> and now let's head into the dining room. This is the dining room. Our dining set is from Ikea. I do want to replace it at some point, but it serves its purpose for now. It's a little small. Over here, we have a painting I stole from my parents' house and our cat's litter box that still needs to be moved to the basement. And we keep Junie's high chair in the corner. And here is our hallway. I thrifted this art print, Colin hates it. And on the other wall, we have a painting Colin and I did of us. And this is a caricature we got done at like a little fun event thing. Moving on, back here. It's kind of a disaster right now, but this is the guest room. We just finished unpacking our apartment and bringing everything over here, so that's why there's a bunch of crap in here right now, but I'll insert a clip of what it looks like when it's clean. Um, the guest room also doubles as my office. I keep my desk in here and it's great. It's awesome. I love it. We have a beautiful view of the backyard and yeah. In the middle of the hallway, we have our bathroom. She's a little small, but gets the job done. I like it. I love these tiles, the little hexagon tiles. Super, super great. Moving on. In here, it's just a coat closet. And then in here is Colin and I's bedroom. This is my favorite room in the house because Colin let me get a purple rug and purple <laughs> pillows and blue curtains. And it's just a very cozy, beautiful space. I love it in here. Um, yeah, I don't really know what else to say about it. We got the bedding from Sijo Home. It's made from bamboo, 
Softest bedding ever. Our King Euro Shams are from Target. These lamps are from Target. Nightstands are from Home Depot. And the rug is also from Target. So the dining room is our kitchen. I originally thought I wouldn't like that it was an open floor plan and the kitchen felt like so separate, but I actually love it. It is really nice to have the mess in the kitchen not also be a mess in the living room and the rest of the house. Like, if the kitchen's messy and I don't clean it, I can leave the kitchen and I don't see the mess. But also it's just nice. It's a lot of space. Um, usually people would put a little kitchen table here. We decided to put another shelf for pantry storage because we have so many things. Um, but yeah, on this side of the kitchen, we have a door that goes out to the backyard, which I will show you last. And we also have a door that goes to the upstairs. So follow me. The stairs were super steep and slippery, so we put down treads. Um, but when you walk upstairs, there's this main room. We have purpose as Junie's playroom. Lots of closets. But yeah, this is Junie's playroom. We spend most of the day up here because Junie is not allowed to watch TV. We have a strict screen ban in our house now. Um, but yeah, here's the playroom. And then in here, we have Colin's office. It's a little bit chaotic right now because he's filming something. But yeah, we put his books on this bookshelf over here. This beautiful cane cabinet from Target. We have some floating shelves. We have a second one. We just haven't put it up yet. It's on the floor right there. Um, but it will go up eventually. And then something super exciting is that rocking chair back there. I thrifted it for 70 bucks and it's worth hundreds of dollars as I learned online. I love it, it's beautiful, but let's keep going. I'm out of breath. Over here we have our second bathroom, which is pretty much Junie's bathroom. We don't really ever use it. These cute, adorable little rugs my mom got her. And then we have her bath toys, bath mat. Junie loves bath time now, so it's a fun time. Last but not least, we have Junie's bedroom. Definitely my favorite decorated room in the house. My mom also got Junie this gorgeous rug. I'm obsessed with it. We're definitely keeping it forever. It is so nice, so soft. On this side of the room, we have our hamper, our dresser, some shelves with random things like hair bows and socks and diapers. Um, here's our changing table. She has a little chair here that we sit in together to read stories. A basket full of blankets and her crib. And I put little rainbow decals everywhere because that seems to be the unofficial theme of her bedroom. Rainbow tapestry here that I still have to steam. Little, little cloud light and some more books. To eat first. We are so, so happy here. This is the perfect first home for us to live in. I miss daddy's glasses. If you like this video, be sure to check out the other videos I have from this moving series, including decorating the guest room. And eventually I will post the video of us decorating this office. Eventually, when we finish it. So stay tuned and leave a like and a comment and subscribe to see more of me and my beautiful family. Can you say bye? Can you say bye?